And hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Dan Byrne has signed a new contract extension. A Newcastle United official announcement on Friday afternoon revealed the news. Dan Byrne signed a two and a half year contract in January 2022, taking him up to the 30th of June 2024. The new Dan Byrne deal sees him sign a new contract extension, which now takes him up to the 30th of June 2025. A perfect compromise, I think, for both the club and the player. Dan Byrne will turn 33 in May 2025, a month before the new contract is scheduled to end. Newcastle United's official announcement read, Newcastle United are delighted to announce that the defender Dan Byrne has agreed a new contract that will keep him at St James's Park until 2025. Byrne, who hails from Blythe, has been a key part of Eddie Howe's first team squad since returning to the North East from Brighton in January 2022. Byrne said, It means everything for me to play for this club and to sign a new contract. I said when I signed that I didn't want just to be a stopgap signing to keep us up. I wanted to be here for a long time. So personally, it feels even more of an achievement signing this one than it was actually signing here in the first place. I'm delighted and looking forward to the next couple of seasons. Newcastle United head coach Eddie Howe said, Dan is a leader on and off the pitch, so we are delighted that he has extended his stay with us. He is a key part of our squad and has played a huge role in our progress since his arrival. He knows exactly what it means to represent this great club and is hungry to succeed, and that can only help the team and the club going forward. In other news, Thursday night brought the shock news that Sandro Tonali and Aston Villa's Nicolo Zanolio had been taken out of the Italy squad for the October internationals. The reason being that both players were under investigation amidst claims of illegal betting by the players in Italian football, with claims that as many as 10 players could be allegedly involved. Juventus star Nicolo Fogolio had already confessed to breaking the strict betting rules governing those playing in Italian football. Now on Saturday there has been an interesting update in the Italian media. Aston Villa's Nicolio Zanolio and Newcastle United's Sandro Tonali have confessed to the fact that they did play poker and blackjack, distancing themselves from any sports betting. Yesterday, the Italy duo was questioned by the police in the illegal betting case after Nicolo Figoglio was also questioned by the prosecutor, with the Juventus man revealing connections with players following a thorough search of his phone. La Repubblica have now revealed some details about the situations of Sinolio and Tonali, stating that the two players were not immediately questioned by the police after they had left Italy training. Instead, they were grilled by their family and agents so that they could know a potential defence in the case. Zanolio, almost in tears, had revealed that they had played games of poker and blackjack. Sandro Tonali admitted to the same, but both players distanced themselves in sports betting. They did admit to being friends with Fagolio, with whom chat suggests that they did indulge in sports betting. Having said that, police are yet to have concrete proof of the fact that they did indulge in sports betting. Betting flows, payment methods and VPNs are now being investigated to know more about it. Obviously we can't take for granted that this is going to end up okay, but I think real hope is that for Newcastle United fans that this is going to turn out to be a non-story where Sandro Tonali is concerned. If indeed it turns out that in fact his betting interests have been limited to blackjack and poker, not football. I think the fact that the two players have been removed from the national squad with Italy, who were facing two massive games, Euro qualifiers against Malta and England, naturally made you feel the worst. However, from what has now been reported in Italy, it is more than possible that they have been caught up innocently in this due to their friendship with Fagolio. Newcastle fans, what do you make of the situation with regards to Sandro Tonali? Let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.